Welcome back. We continue to follow breaking news on Live at Noon. New information about that crane collapse up in Oshkosh. And the worker who was killed. Let's go into our newsroom now. Cody Holyoke has heard from the company for which the man worked. Cody? Well, Vince and Melissa, we are now hearing for the first time from Spancrete, which is based in Waukesha. According to the Department of Transportation, the company was contracted uh, over uh, the Butamore Causeway from another company out of Black River Falls, uh, assisting with the, uh, the causeway construction there. Here's video from Chopper 4. You can see it live right now. Now, according to Spancrete, and I'm reading this statement for the first time, so excuse me, uh, the company is saying is it is with great sadness that Spancrete confirms the loss of a long-term Spancrete employee. Thursday morning, Joseph R. Bidler of Green Bay, Wisconsin, was killed when a crane lifting a beam onto the Lake Butamore Causeway collapsed. The thoughts and prayers of every employee at Span Creek are with Joseph's family at this difficult time. Now, also uh, hearing from the uh, media representative for the company just a few minutes ago, we were told this is a, a 35 year old man who lives up in Green Bay. The company is based in Waukesha. There's a little bit of confusion about that at the get go. Uh, Joseph, we were told, was with the company for over 11 years. So right now, uh, Span Creek in Waukesha uh, has heavy hearts as they have now released the identity of the man who died in that crane collapse. Vincent, Vincent Melissa. Absolutely heavy hearts and uh, thoughts and prayers with his family at this time. And as you can see, Chopper 4 is still above that scene up in Oshkosh, and we continue to get new information all the time about the situation there. We'll be back right after this.